Uh, good evening dear friends in the series of planning aerodynamics uh, we are discussing on the gliding flight so that means uh, in the previous class we have seen about uh, steady descent also a uh, gliding flight so uh, how to achieve the minimum rate of sink and also the maximum uh, range how to have the maximum range and uh, based on the uh, conditions uh, different conditions so uh, then uh, we have just seen uh, how to find out the minimum glide angle because if you want to uh, go at the <coughs> uh, that means if you want to go at the minimum rate of sink then uh, we need to have a uh, just we can go for the minimum uh, that means uh, minimum gliding angle okay so that also we have discussed in the previous class so in this class uh, now we are we will solve one uh, problems uh, that means uh, numerical it is based on the uh, that means uh, yeah glider uh, glider flight so and uh, let's see how we are finding the that means uh, uh, the required conditions whatever is asked in the problems so how we are going to find out let's see <clears throat> so the problem okay in this problem the problem says a same plane safe plane nothing but uh, it is a glider so the first thing we have to understand safe plane means uh, it is the glider okay so safe plane weighs uh, 4450 newton with a uh, wing loading w by s uh, the, okay 600 newton per meter square the drag polar equation is given by cd equal to 0 0.010 plus 0 0.022 cl square so we need to find out the time to glide from 300 meters so from 300 meters we are coming to the sea level so then uh, what okay at what condition we are okay coming from 300 meters to the sea level that is nothing but we are coming okay from the 300 meters to the sea level at a minimum rate of sink so minimum rate of sink conditions we are just coming to the uh, sea level from 300 meters so we need to find okay we need to find out how much time okay time taken for gliding okay well, for gliding from uh, when it is flying from 300 meter to sea level so that is what uh, in this problem we are going to uh, find out so we need to find out uh, time taken for gliding uh, time taken for gliding so that is what uh, finally we are going to find out and also the range okay for the time uh, time taken uh, for the gliding and also the range okay for uh, minimum uh, sink conditions nothing but uh, minimum rate of sink so now the given data in this problem nothing but uh, we have the w weight is nothing but uh, 4440 newton wing loading 600 newton per meter square so you have the drag pull of 0 0.010 plus 0 0.022 cl square height so it is okay this is what we can just say it is flying at uh, 300 meters not uh, this one so we can just say it is the 300 meters so at 300 meters uh, the density is nothing but 1.112 kg per meter cube so uh, okay these are the given data so now okay we need to just uh, move towards the solutions so uh, first thing is uh, they have said that uh, minimum rate of sink so uh, that means we have to find out the uh, time taken for gliding yeah, okay then uh, that is uh, happening at uh, minimum rate of, rate of sink so it means uh, first of all we need to find out uh, what is the minimum rate of sink so uh, that okay so what we have to understand minimum rate of sink generally occurs at uh, minimum power conditions so that is we have seen in our uh, previous uh, lectures so minimum rate of uh, sink uh, occurs at the minimum power conditions then uh, that is what uh, here we are using so uh, rate of sink minimum equal to so that is uh, velocity minimum power into that means uh, sine gamma minimum power so that means in both the values velocity as well as uh, this uh, uh, gliding gliding angle both of them we have to find out at uh, minimum power conditions so that is what uh, we have to understand here so then uh, okay first thing uh, we want to find out the minimum power conditions let's see uh, minimum for the starting so minimum power conditions uh, generally we have to start with the uh, cl minimum power so cl minimum power nothing but a uh, square root of uh, 3 cv naught by k so after substituting uh, we are getting the value nothing but it is around 1.17 then we are in getting the 
CD minimum power that is nothing but uh, 4 into 0 point. CD naught is nothing but uh, 0 point, uh, 0 0.010. So after multiplying we are getting 0 0.04. So we got the CL minimum power and the CD minimum power. Then uh, based on this uh, now we can find out what is the velocity minimum power. So the velocity minimum power okay we just we are using the formula. Then uh, we know okay the wing loading nothing but uh, 600. Then density is nothing but 1.112. Then CL minimum power nothing but uh, 1.17. So we are just substituting the value. After substituting the value, this may okay. This value comes around 30 meter per second. So now we got the uh, velocity minimum power. That means uh, at what speed? Okay, at minimum power uh, condition, what is the velocity? So that we got it. So that is 30 meter per second. Now we need to find out uh, what is the uh, gliding angle at uh, minimum power conditions. That is what. Okay, then only we can uh, use this. Okay, so glide for. Finding the gliding angle at a minimum power conditions, this is what, okay. So, tan, okay, this also we here we can write tan, uh, this is nothing but uh, gliding, okay, minimum power at minimum power uh, conditions, what is the gliding angle? Tan gamma, okay. So, this is we, all, we have seen in our previous, uh, uh, okay, lexus, how we are obtaining the gliding angle. So, that is equal to instead of tan, okay, we can take a sin gamma also, nothing wrong in that. So we can just say okay tan gamma okay so from the uh, that means uh, right angle triangle or from that uh, gliding flight conditions we got this one so 1 by uh, L by D minimum power so now we need to find out what is the L by D ratio at a minimum power conditions so that is okay that is nothing but uh, okay we can straight away here we are just substituting the values so gamma minimum power nothing but gliding angle minimum power that is equal to tan universal 1 by 1 point this because uh, cl minimum power we know cd minimum power we know we are substituting both the values and then okay finally we are getting the gliding angle at a minimum power condition so that becomes uh, comes around 1.96 so now we got the gliding at angle at minimum power conditions now we can find out what is the rate of sink at a minimum power condition okay rate of sink minimum that means nothing but a minimum rate of sink so that is okay we are just finding it uh, v minimum power velocity minimum power and uh, into this one so sin 30 velocity minimum power nothing but 30 into sin so 1.96 we know what is the value of uh, gamma so that is the gliding angles nothing but 1.96 we are substituting so this is in the degree so then after uh, doing the calculation this value comes around 1 meter per second okay so now we got it uh, what is the minimum rate of sink so we minimum rate of sink we got then now we need to go for finding the uh, time taken for the gliding okay so that is what uh, here we have to understand this from this okay from the problem time to glide so how much time taken for uh, gliding uh, okay when we are uh, coming from 300 meter to sea level so that is we are okay time taken uh, just here we can just say time taken to achieve minimum rate of sink so uh, how much time taken so generally uh, if you say minimum rate of sink it means uh, time taken will be maximum that is the idea so here we, we also can say maximum how much uh, time taken okay so maximum that is why since it is minimum then time will be maximum so that is so so maximum time taken that is equal to h by rs that means the minimum uh, rate of sink so we know what is the height so from what height okay it starts to glide it's nothing but 300 meters so rate of climb okay rate of sink is nothing but uh, one one meter per second so okay just uh, after doing the calculation we are getting uh, 300 seconds so max that means uh, time taken to uh, time taken uh, to glide from 300 meter to sea, uh, sea level so that is nothing but 300 seconds so 300 seconds uh, uh, okay time has been taken so that means uh, this 300 second uh, if you want we can convert into uh, minutes so that also we can do now okay <clears throat> now we got the uh, maximum and time taken where that is because of the uh, minimum uh, rate of sink now let's find out uh, what is the range so because uh, uh, it is flying from okay three and uh, 300 meter to sea level so for that okay it is uh, taking the uh, 
that means 300 seconds so uh, when it is uh, okay time taken is 300 seconds then uh, what would be the range so the, that means how much distance uh, it, it has been taken so that is okay that we are finding it okay range at uh, minimum uh, rate of sync conditions that is nothing but range okay this is the formula okay so in our previous lesson uh, we have seen all the formulas how to find out the range so here okay it is based on the uh, minimum power conditions generally range okay range is nothing but h into l by d so uh, since it is the uh, it is based on the minimum uh, rate of sync uh, conditions so uh, minimum rate of sync generally occurs at the maximum uh, sorry l by d minimum uh, that means minimum power condition l by d ratio of the minimum power so h into l by d ratio of the minimum okay at minimum power so uh, this is l by d ratio of the minimum power nothing but uh, that is cl minimum power by cd minimum power that comes around uh, 29.2 so the height is nothing but 300 so after doing the calculation now we are getting around uh, 8900 meters okay so the range now the range we got it that means uh, the range uh, <coughs> range has been uh, covered or the distance covered when okay when the glider is flying at uh, minimum rate of sync conditions how much at the distance so the di distance is nothing but 8900 meters i hope okay this problem gives the uh, comprehensive idea consolidated okay idea how we, we can just find out the uh, uh, that means uh, uh, minimum rate of sync and also we can just see here uh, gliding angle at a minimum power conditions and also we have found out how much time taken to achieve the minimum rate of sync so that also we found out and also finally we have seen uh, that means uh, the distance covered how much range is covered uh, it is okay uh, based on the minimum rate of sync conditions that also we have found out